and show you how to build Magic 8 Ball. See the time is 2.08 right now. Hopefully we have an aim of getting this done by 3 a.m. Now we go ahead and make this one. Calling it Magic 8 Ball. Space. Eight. We have five spaces left. So let me go ahead and get a symbol. Dash. Or in this case a minus works equally well. Capital B A L L. We want to make this a long game. And let's see. I will first go ahead and make a No, I think I will go ahead and make a command first. Easy enough here. And since there's not very many letters to work with, let's say ask. S K space symbol for and what is that and for simp something like that do 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 show here there it is ask and tap T A P not double Put a period in there. Click it OK. Now, let's go ahead and make a graphic. I'm going to make the, the game border graphic pretty easy here. We're just going to go for a big solid black ball. So I'll click this one that makes a solid round subject that we already have the blacks selected. I will locate a corner somewhere around here and create, hopefully, a circle. This could be a little tricky making it near perfect. I want to do an oval course. There might be a way around this that I don't know about. And let's just say that's our magic eight ball. It's not quite centered. Now we get out of that tool, go to our move. Now it's right now on copy, we want to make it move. I like the whole thing. That's not the whole thing. Let's try again. Okay, that's more like it. Now let's try and get it centered. That's roughly centered. And I'll click OK. Now we got our magic eight ball outside section. This tool paints area. This is set up much like your Microsoft Paint program. Maybe a little bit more sophisticated, but not much. I want to look for, say, a wooden background. If I have an option here, I have brick wall. Looks like concrete wall. And see here. Fire, <laughs> and that's your blank area. You can make your own. Come on. Grass, sand, nighttime. Yeah, probably want nighttime. I'm gonna see what this one does. Okay, we tap anywhere in the white area, and it makes it. It's kind of ugly. We're gonna use the undo feature. If I want to undo those, that would be a pain. So I think for now, I will just let's see what this one looks like. Still blah. I'll do that. We'll just go for a solid cutter and worry about it later. How about just blue? I think blue is nice for now. Okay, we have our background set. Now, we need to make a graphic that has a big 8 ball on it. So I'm going to exit the screen. And we'll go to an object. Make the object. 
Uh, call an eight ball. Face. There's two eights. There's another nine. We're not going to use that. We're going to use that up one. Eight. Nine ish. B A L L. I'm just going to go F A C since there's not enough characters in there for face. And now, how big do we want our eight ball symbol to be? One piece, it's a little small. That's a little small for two. That is way too big. So we're gonna go with the nine pointer. Clicking OK. He wants me to identify again, so I'll just say eight ball face once more. Okay, it's a little bit small. I'd like to zoom it up. I'll go ahead and zoom it up a little bit. For this size, that's fairly good. And let's see, I want to make a big black section here. So I'll go ahead and fill the entire thing up with black. And let's see here. I think I have a white circle. That might be sufficient enough. Choose the color white. Choose an area to make a white circle in. That looks pretty good. And now we want the classic eight. Sure, let's see here. There's a little character here that brings up your alphabet. Now, I want numbers. I want to see what fonts we have. There's a few. That one might do just fine. And I bet you our ape is not going to be very big. Might be nice if it actually came up in white. <laughs> Let's see if we can do something about that. Okay, I'm going to momentarily fill the entire interior region with yellow so that our black eight will pop up and I can work with it. We'll go ahead and switch back to eight. See that's very small. We'll undo that and change with this little elephant character to see how big it is. Oops. Undo only does one step unfortunately. Now that eight might be sufficient. But let's see what our larger one would look like. So I'm going to fill in this eight. There it goes. Oh, wrong step. We don't want to do that. Okay, let's make it supersized. Now that looks impressive. I'm going to try and make it centered though. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So that is our eight ball. Now, let's see here. Is there anything else I want to do with it? I was thinking about having it roll off the top. So, I think we need to make a second and a third graphic. Go ahead. We have up to four graphics for moving and such like that. So we tap this little icon here, add a cell. I want to make it at least three. So I'll we'll go ahead and do three. Scroll back to the second one. I'll import this icon into the second window. And let's see here. I think we want it to just majorly roll off this top. 